the AI world just got shaken up. OpenAI has unlocked a feature inside ChatGPT that transforms it from a helpful assistant into a full-blown command center. At the same time, ByteDance is firing back at Google with a lightning-fast image model. Adobe just dropped enterprise-grade AI agents into its ecosystem, and Claude can now edit Office files without you even opening them. There's a stack of huge updates, so let's dive right in. Open AI first because this one is a game changer. Developer mode in ChatGPT now has full MCP tool support. In simple terms, ChatGPT is no longer just answering questions. It can now take real actions inside your systems. Think about updating a Jira ticket, triggering a Zapier workflow, tweaking your CRM, or even chaining multiple services together directly from the chat window. Setup is straightforward. Head into Settings, Connectors, Advanced, turn on Developer Mode, then plug in your MCP servers. From there, ChatGPT connects via protocols like SSE or Streaming HTTP, and you can manage authentication through OAUTH if needed. The real upgrade, Write Access. ChatGPT can now actually do things, not just read them. That means your prompts matter more than ever. If you're juggling overlapping tools, you'll want to be explicit about which connector is the source of truth. And to keep things safe, every tool call shows JSON input or output before execution, and actions require your approval unless you decide to auto-approve. Handled correctly, this turns ChatGPT into more than a dashboard. It becomes an active workflow hub running your processes in real time. Next up, ByteDance. Their new Cetereme 4.0 image model is directly targeting Google's Gemini 2.5 flash image, better known online as Nano Banana. ByteDance claims Cetereme 4.0 outperforms on prompt accuracy, alignment, and image quality. No formal benchmarks yet, so treat it as a bold claim. Still, it's clear this is a product-driven push. Cetereme 4.0 merges the strengths of Cedream. 3.0's text-to-image with Seedit, 3.0's editing capabilities, and pricing stays aggressive, around $30 per 1,000 generations domestically, or $0.03 per image globally, slightly undercutting Gemini. Performance is also impressive, more than 10 times faster inference than earlier versions, and early users are already praising editing accuracy. Availability runs through ByteDance's consumer platforms, Gmang and Dupao, and its enterprise service Volcano Engine. Gemini still tops global leaderboards, but Cedream 4.0 hasn't been officially scored yet. With Tencent, Kuaishu, and even government regulations adding to the mix, China's AI race is heating up fast. Adobe just turned its AI agents loose across the experience cloud. This isn't just hype. It's designed for immediate business impact. The system uses decision science plus language models to activate the right agents toward business goals. We're talking audience building, customer journey orchestration, experimentation analysis, site optimization, and product support, directly inside tools like Journey Optimizer, Experience Manager, and Real-Time CDP. Adoption is already strong. Adobe says over 70% of AE customers are using the AI Assistant. Big names like Hershey, Lenovo, and Wegmans are already on board. Customization is next. With an agent SDK, composer, and registry, brands will be able to fine-tune agents within their own policies. Partners like Google Cloud, Omnicom, and PwC are helping push this ecosystem forward. The pitch, augment teams, increase ROI, and personalize at scale without rebuilding your entire workflow. Finally, let's talk Claude. Anthropic just made it possible to create and edit Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF files directly through natural language. Upload up to 30 megabytes of data, and Claude can generate structured reports, build charts, or apply bulk context-aware edits. That means things like replacing every instance of a phrase, adjusting currencies, normalizing job titles, or cleaning up tables without ever opening the file yourself. This is more than convenience, it's speed. Microsoft is reportedly working to bring Claude's editing flow directly into Office 365. 
If that lands, Claude won't just be another tool, it'll be built straight into the apps millions of people already use daily. Which one excites you most? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit subscribe, and smash that like button if you want to stay ahead in the AI race. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in next video.